Que viene el gran chingón, el mero mero. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. It's great to be here. Today I'm going to be shaving with the new cream that I just most recently got. So excited for this because this is a favorite scent of mine. And uh, I just love it. It's a great sandalwood scent. And it's badass. I love it. This is from the Art of Shaving. Shaving cream. And it's scented with essential sandalwood oil. For all skin types. It says there on the label. And you can use this brush or brushless. I'm going to be using it with the brush. It's made by the Art of Shaving. That's their logo there. Art of Shaving is a... I believe they're online now. They're, they've always been online, I believe. But they used to have a store at the malls. Where you can go in and check out their uh, products. All the stores that I know from the Art of Shaving here... And in the area where I live, they're all gone. They all closed up. I don't know why, but they're all doing they're doing it right now online. And so happy to be trying this here because I've been wanting to try this out for a long time. Art of Shaving Company has been out for a while and they uh they offer different scents. They uh they sell unscented, they sell a lavender, they sell a lime. They sell the sandalwood here. They sell a kelp, ocean, I believe, scented, uh, scented uh, shave cream. These are all shaving creams, the ones I'm talking about. And uh, they have a oud that I've been wanting to try out too. I'm scraping it the, from my, my, I'm getting the, whatever it acts is on the top of the uh, the lid here from the, from the jar. And I'm trying to use what I have right here. But, uh, Yeah, that's one of their, their, most of their scents that they have to offer. I've never used this, but I have seen people use this on video. And uh, I've seen great lathers from it, so I'm excited to use this. I don't know how much to use, so I'm going to go with whatever I, I choose right now. And if I need more, then I'll go back to the uh, tub and get some more. I'm going to need a little bit more than this. But this smells, if you guys ever smelled fine accoutrements, San, Santel Absolute. This is exactly what this smells like here. And it's an iconic scent right here. And I truly mean that. It's very special. I just love this scent, scent of sandalwood. It's one of my favorites of all time. And... uh I'm going to be using a big badger brush, so I'm, pr I'm trying to put on as much as possible. Um, I'll probably use more than I needed to, but we'll see. I'm going to go with what I have there on my face, and hopefully it goes well. If not, then I'll, I'll get some more cream from the tub. But let me uh, close this up here. It smells really good, though. It smells like sandalwood, like a luxury sandalwood is the best I can describe it. I don't believe it has any other scent on there but sandalwood. But this is like a sweet cologne type sandalwood. It's what I get when I smell it. And I absolutely love it. I do have the soap of fine accoutrements underneath my sink. But I wanted to use this tonight. Just got out of work, so I'm exhausted. I'm really tired. I wasn't going to do this in the morning, but I need to shave and I've been wanting to do a video. So here I am, guys. Hope everyone's doing well. Appreciate the love and support you guys gave me on my channel. Always great to see those beautiful comments on there. Thank you very much to everyone. I really appreciate you all. God bless you and your families. Much love and respect to everybody. Amen. And I mean that with all my heart. Got my brush here soaking my stone mug as always. Cup, I mean, not mug. And sometimes, I want to say guys right now, sometimes I forget to tell you guys what I'm using as of the base. And I apologize for that. Sometimes I'm really tired and I, I forget sometimes the most important things 
that I need to say in the video and uh, I'm gonna try my best to remember what I need to so you guys can know what I'm using. The last soap that I used was uh, the last video that I that, that I posted was a tallow based soap and I forgot to mention that. I, I truly apologize for that and I'm gonna do my best to uh, describe these uh, soaps better in the future. I'm just so tired sometimes that I just forget. It's too much to remember, to tell you the truth. But I'm going to be using my Dark Sanctum um, Rollin X with the uh, bottle cap stone cup, I mean stone brewing company bottle cap underneath the brush there. This was, uh, the brush was 3D printed by my brother Jose and Karina, uh, Jose's, uh, Jose's, excuse me, Jose's girlfriend, Karina, was so nice to, uh, do the resin and uh, seal that bottle cap there and it looks great. Thank you very much to both of you. I really appreciate you both. Hope you both are doing well. And uh, my brush here is uh, is already damp. I'm gonna be starting the lather on my face. I don't think I have enough. We'll see. I am using a 28 millimeter two band Odin's knot, Badger knot from Andrew, Andrew, uh, and, uh, Andrew from Viking Salt Company. It smells amazing. I love it. This brush was already pre-washed. Uh, I don't know why it's losing hair. It's the first time using it since I washed it. it smells badass though. This scent's awesome, guys. Highly recommend it if you love sandalwood. Or if you like sandalwood, period. This is medium scented is what I'm picking up from the scent itself. It's not a very strong sandalwood scent. More badger hair. Excuse me guys. Excuse me everyone, I mean. Medium scented scent on the cream here. And what I love about creams is that they're really easy to lather especially when you're on travel. And the the awesome thing about the creams is you get to squeeze however what you want and desire to. You don't have to worry about the soap drying up afterwards. Like if you're traveling, going somewhere, you know, or just close the lid back up on the cream that you're using and, uh, you don't have to worry about the soap being dried. You just cover it with the cap and you're good to go. And it's really easy to lather this cream. I find that. I'm gonna bad your hair there. That it's really fun to use the creams. My lather is already created. I don't need to uh, keep lathering it, but I'm gonna do it anyways, since I'm not in a hurry. But this smells beautiful, beautiful sandalwood, sandalwood scent that I appreciate very much. It's sad to see the, the sandalwood scent from fine accoutrements disappear. They no longer produce it. I don't know why, because it's an awesome sandalwood scent. And I'm, I'm trying to explain it the best way I can. It's just very beautiful. I'm enjoying this lather here. My brush is caked with lather. I got another uh, another damn badger hair there. God, I hate when it sheds that much. I just dislike it when my, especially when they're new. Let me wet this a little bit more. I used a lot of cream, guys. So, uh, I suggest next time if you guys do use this, the hell is this? I don't know what this is. It looks like a piece of badger hair. I don't know. <laughs> Thought it was soap, but uh, I recommend you guys use this. I just didn't know. 
just a little dab, I guess I'll do you. This lathered up really well. This is a low, medium structure lather. The density of the uh, cream is not a very uh, thick, thick lather, but it's okay. Don't always need a thick lather. All right, I'm done. Just having fun here, but yeah, it's a low to medium uh, structure lather with this cream here. And it's medium scented, I would say is about a five cent strength. I don't know about the slickness yet because uh, I haven't shaved, but I'm about to. I'm gonna be using my fun razor, Japanese. This is, I believe, a seven eighths uh, square point hollow ground, I believe it is. Japanese barbers, barbers use first quality. It says there on the back of the the stamp there. In the front it says fun. Golden Star Fun Extra Steel, 1200. I'm excited because I'm about to get a, a new razor in the, in, the, in the den, a new straight razor. I'm gonna be getting a Waiting Butcher Rattler. Barbers, R Rattler's Barber. And it's uh, coming to me pretty soon, and I'm going to be restoring that blade myself. So I can't wait for it to come in the mail. It says I should get it by Friday, so hopefully it'll arrive tomorrow. Crossing my fingers. But the new, the new, the new, uh, it's a weight and butcher. And as a barber's notch, it's similar looking to the one that I have currently, the Celebrated. Wooden butcher. This is pretty slick. I can feel it. Another badger here, small one. I got about a week and a half's growth, guys. I have not shaved another badger hair in a week and a half. Plus, how much growth I have on my face right now. And it feels great to take this growth off. Too much shedding, if you ask me, from this badge or not. Um, I've, I've, ever since I bought the uh, Odin's barber, I mean Odin's uh, Odin beard knots from uh, my brother Andrew at Viking Cosmetics, um, soaps and cosmetics. I've never had issues with his knots until. Well, I mean, it's not an issue. I'm not having a big issue in just this, this knot here is shedding too much as I want it to. Don't want it to, I mean. And that's not never a good thing. But uh, so far, the soap is slick. Very slick, if you ask me. But this scent is beautiful. Very intoxicating. To my nose, but yeah, guys, I'm very excited to be getting another badger hair. That uh, uh, barber's rattler, she should be here on Friday, like I was mentioning. Hopefully tomorrow. I'm crossing my fingers. I really am because I've been wanting to hone another uh, vintage razor. And that's a vintage razor. Pretty old. So old that I was trying to look for information on the website about it and no luck so far. Oh, I went over my scab. The reason why I didn't share for a whole week and a half was because I cut myself with my uh, new razor, my KM Designs. My new razor that I have in my den. Those spike points on both ends of the heel and the toe are very sharp. And uh, it caught myself. I caught myself on it. And uh, I got a pretty nasty cut right here. Oh, it's covered. You guys can, can't see it, but... It was maybe a half an inch of a cut. 
when I had to let it heal. I absolutely did. I absolutely did not want to shave with that. Uh, with the wound there on my uh, still fresh. On my, on my under neck there. It was a bad cut. It didn't bleed a lot, but it was bad. The way I cut it, it was bad. And uh, I just wanted to let it heal. No bullshit, guys. That's exactly what happened. You guys are probably thinking that, you know, damn, this guy has a lot of excuses why he doesn't make videos. But no, guys, that's the absolute truth. What happened to me, I cut myself with the uh, heel of the uh, the razor. I wasn't careful and it got me and it got me good and I didn't shave for about a week and a half but I'm okay I didn't bleed a lot it don't look like I opened it right there but uh yeah that's what happened guys it happens in you know when you shave you got to be very careful with straight razors because uh it looks like I'm gonna have to uh load again I thought it was caked but I guess not. <laughs> so I'm putting a, another dab there on there on the on the brush. This is a very dense knot, guys. Just it's a very dense knot. Just trying to explain to you guys that the uh, the Viking beard knots, only knots, I mean, excuse me, are very dense. And when you buy a Odin's knot from Andrew, they're very high quality badgers. I found, in my opinion, to be. I enjoy using them very much. The so quality of the badger is just is absolutely awesome. Very soft. Just the colors of the badger too. They look it looks beautiful, and of course, it's a true super high density. The uh. The density of the, the badger hair. But this cream is lovely. And I can't wait to buy more scents of it. It's absolutely doing the job as I expected it. I saw a couple videos on some guys using this on. Uh, this cream here and I just been wanting it for a long time too bad I sat on it for a very long time I don't know why I did but uh I'm glad I have it now in my den and it's a lot of a lot of cream they give you I paid 20 bucks for this cream I think it's it retails for uh 24.99 but this is a five ounce tub of uh, cream here that you get a lot of cream for the price be going on Against the grain. <laughs> and look, like I was mentioning is medium scented strength on the uh, sandalwood scent is not very strong, but it's very enjoyable. I'm trying to find this cut here. Here it goes. I don't want to go over it. I'm trying to go over that cut again right there and i was drinking guys so uh i wasn't gonna do this video because the beer that i was drinking it's very good and i'm gonna show you what kind of i was drinking it's from 21st amendment i highly recommend that beer company if you guys see it at your local grocery store or any uh liquor store i highly recommend you grab yourself some this Japanese razor is, is awesome. Every time that I put it on the stones, this is twice now that I put it on the stones, it it takes a great edge. And it feels great. It feels very smooth. It's not tuggy at all. It's very, very smooth. And the slickness from the uh, soap is providing great glide. Hope you guys can see that through the video. <laughs> I 
I really appreciate your support. Thank you very much, everyone. I really appreciate it with all my heart. It means a lot to me, guys, that you guys stop by and watch my channel, even though I don't make a lot of videos these days. I have a lot of soaps I got to review, like I was mentioning on my last video. Great quality soap though, right here. Good cream, I mean. I enjoy it very much. The artist chain is supposed to be like an elegant company. And they don't only sell soaps. They sell bombs. They sell pre-shave oils. They sell brushes. They sell handles for Gillette cartridge razors. They sell these little exfol exfoliators, brushes that to exfoliate your face when you uh, want to wash up your face. Suppose it's like a bristle brush. It's supposed to feel good when you use that kind of bristle brush on your face. I think it's a, a I believe it's a motorized. Uh, I think it has a switch that it, the the bristles turn around like this. And it exfoliates your face. I used the pre-wash uh, before I uh, I shaved. I was shaving because I was out all day. Out and I work out. Outside. <laughs> I don't work out. I wish I did. Outside. I work. I walk all day. And uh, I just wanted to wash my face before I shave. But the razor, the soap is a little dry. That's my fault. But as you can see guys, it's cutting. I'm really happy I bought my stones. I'm telling you right now, if you're a straight razor shaver, I highly recommend you look into buying some stones. I know a lot of people can't afford it, but I have synthetic stones and they did cost me quite a bit. But if you're looking into getting natural stones, it costs way more. I couldn't afford to get what uh, the natural, right now, natural Japanese wet stones. So along with synthetics, Right now, for to learn in the future, I will get better ones. But so far, guys, I'm I'm really happy with the results that I'm getting with my hones on my razors. They're very sharp and smooth. It took down a week and a half growth. And I love, sorry for the weeper there. I cut myself. I love shaving with the straight razor because you just get a very, very close. Uh, I call it ultra close, baby, but smooth shave. I don't have to shave for days, and I love that. I I can if I if I choose to, but I don't because I'm really busy. My life is really busy with my son and just work wise. And to tell you the truth, guys, I get home and I don't want to shave. I'm so tired. I walk eight hours a day, eight plus hours a day. I walk outside, upstairs, in the parking structure. Just in general, walking all day. And it takes a number on me when I get home. I have to come home, babysit Junior, and take care of him until he goes to sleep. And that's a lot of energy right there that I spend. When I get home, I truly don't have enough energy to uh, make a video. And I'm telling you guys the truth. It's just really exhausting when I get home. I don't find the time. And I want to do it, but it just, it, it just doesn't give me the power to do a video. I'm not I'm doing a video right now because my girlfriend, my fiance is out with her mom and she has juniors, so that's why it's so quiet here. I try to make the videos when it's quiet like that. There's no noise. You know, uh in my videos I apologize and I mean I I know that some of you 
my brothers don't like to hear noise, but it's, it, it happens when you have a kid. And, you know, um, I try my best to quiet him, but Junior has a lot of energy and it's hard to. But uh, I'm so glad I was here to make this video tonight for y'all. And uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate the support and the love that you guys give me for my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much. Like I was explaining earlier, I'm not trying to sound like a a, 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 a broken record, but uh, I want to say thank you very much for the support. Even though I don't make a lot of videos, you guys still have my back and still watch my videos. And thank you very much. I really appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you for the love. Today's shave was with uh, the Artist Shaving sh Shaving Cream. And it's scented with essential oils. <laughs> Sandalwood oils, that is. It provided me a great, smooth, baby butt ultra smooth shave tonight. And I'm so happy because uh, it feels great. This damn weeper won't stop. But I'm going to be topping it off. I used my uh, my Samurai. It used to be called a Samurai, excuse me. It's called a Rollin' X now. It used to be called uh, the Samurai when it first came out. But uh, I don't want to go through it. why. But the name was uh, renamed and it's called a Rollin' X, Rollin X now. And there's a Rollin' X 2 version 2, which is longer. And uh, I'm going to be using fine sandalwood here. <laughs> Fine Santa Absolute, which is the exact same fair fragrance for the soap there, from the cream, excuse me. And I don't know why Fine discontinued this. I really don't don't know why he discontinued this beautiful scent because uh, it's, it's iconic in my... It's iconic, iconic. Scent and it's very luxury smelling. Oh, I got a little burn, but it feels great. I need a little bit more of this after shave. I got two bottles of this, so I'm not running out anytime soon. It smells beautiful, guys. This this the scent from the after shave is much stronger than the soap. Thank you guys very much. I love y'all. Take care. And uh, happy blessings to everyone. Peace out, my brothers. I'm going to be showing that brew to you guys so you guys can get some. It's, it's tasty. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Screw the picture. I'm going to show you the can. This is 21st Amendment. Right there. And uh, this is the, Rush, the, the Mount Rushmore with the presidents there. But they did a little different version, like a funny version. And uh, this is a blood orange IPA, which is amazingly great tasting brew i highly recommend this one right here i have it already poured in my cup cheers everyone and thank you very much for the support i love you guys ah, so good and refreshing so tasty it tastes like oranges have a great night my brothers take care and uh be safe out there